When we came home, she was sitting in the hallway, but we had left her in the spare room. Exorcist father Chad Ripperger once shared his experience about an exorcism that he performed to cast out a demon from someone's property which had become demon infested. The demons told Father Ripperger that they are only permitted to mess with the property but do not have the rights over it. The demon would later reveal that the person has to clearly state his authority over the property to help break the hold of the demons. But more importantly is this. Upon further questioning by Father Ripperger, the demons told him that consecrating the property to Our Lady will completely block the demons from acting upon it. As a result, a prayer was written based on the famous prayer of St. Louis for those making a total consecration of themselves to the Blessed Virgin Mary. The prayer that Father Ripper composed is entitled Consecration of One's Exterior Goods to the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is a beautiful prayer in which one gives and entrusts the protection of one's exterior goods, including health, finances, relationships, possessions, property, and career over to Our Blessed Mother's care and disposal. One also asks Our Lady's protection over one's exterior goods against the evil one so that the demons cannot touch them. Even if you don't perceive signs of diabolical oppression in your life, I humbly ask and strongly encourage you to pray the prayer that Father Ripperger has composed. Our Blessed Mother can see things we can't. Our enemy is subtle as a serpent, and she wants to protect us from him by stepping on his head in our lives. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, what a joy and consolation it is to put our lives, all aspects of them, under the care of our beautiful and perfect spiritual mother who loves us. As St. Alphonsus Liguri states, more than all of the angels and saints combined, I encourage you to take some time to pray through the consecration of your exterior goods to Our Lady. May Our Lady and her most chaste spouse, St. Joseph, protect you, your families, and all of your exterior goods from the wicked fiend. If you would like to know more about defending yourself from the attacks of the evil one, I also strongly recommend picking up a copy of the book Slaying Dragons, What Exorcists See. It is an excellent resource in learning how to sniff out and defend yourself against the snares of our common enemy. But even more important than that, it teaches you how to get closer to our Father, who cherishes us as his beloved sons and daughters. May Our Lady watch over you and yours always. Consecration of Exterior Goods to the Blessed Virgin Mary Renew and ratify today in thy hands the vows of my baptism. I renounce forever Satan his pomps and works, and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom to carry my cross after him all the days of my life and to be more faithful to him than I have ever been before. In the presence of all the heavenly court, I choose thee, O Mary, this day for my mother and mistress, knowing that I have received rights over all my exterior goods past, present, and future. I relinquish into thy hands, my heavenly mother, all rights over my exterior goods, including my health, finances, relationships, possessions, property, my job, and my earthly success. And I retain for myself no right of disposing the goods that come to me but leave to thee the entire and full right of disposing of all that belongs to me without exception, according to thy good pleasure for the greater glory of golden time and in eternity, as I now interiorly relinquish. What belongs to me exteriorly, into thy hands I entrust to thee the protection of those exterior goods against the evil one, so that knowing that they now belong to thee, he cannot touch them. Receive, O good and pious virgin, this little offering of what little is in honor of and in union with that subjection which the eternal wisdom deigned to have to thy maternity in homage to the power which both of you have over this poor sinner and in thanksgiving for the privileges with which the Holy Trinity has favored thee. Trusting in the providential care of God the Father and thy maternal care, I have full confidence that thou whilst take care of me as to the necessities of this life and will not leave me forsaken God the Father. Increase my trust in thy sons. Mother, our lady of fair love, give me perfect confidence in the providence of thy son. Amen.